In this video, I want to look at the different actions that the Common Data Service Current Environment Connector has and get you familiar with them as we'll be diving deeper on each of them as we get later in the course. The first one we already looked at, that's Create Record. Its function, like we used it, is to create records. And we saw how it can also relate records to other records. We also have the Delete. Quite simply, it deletes records. We have Get Record. Get a record is used when you have the ID of another record the GUID ID, the Global Unique Identifier, and you want to retrieve that record for use in the flow. Get file or image is used with the new file and image data types that Common Data Service has. This allows you to get the data bytes for those particular attributes. The list record is used to get a collection of records based on some criteria. For example, if you wanted to get all the contacts associated with a particular account, you could take the ID of the account and retrieve associated records. There are a couple of different query patterns and we'll explore those in the querying data module of the course. You also can perform actions. Actions are things that are created by developers that can do a collection of things on your behalf. You'll notice there's two action steps that you can use. Perform a bound action and perform an unbound action. The only difference between them is bound actions, you have to provide a reference to a record that the action is going to work upon, whereas the unbound actions are performed not related to a specific record, but take parameters that you'll pass to them. We'll see some examples of working with actions later in the course. The predict action is used by AI Builder, so if you have created a model with AI Builder or want to use one of the pre-built ones for processing in a Power Automate flow, you'll use the predict action. The relate is also combined with unrelate to work with relationships. So what we'll learn is that you can connect records together, just like how we connected the task to the contact. We could do that with the create or update action, or we could also do it standalone using the unrelate or relate actions. Relate essentially connects the records together. Unrelate undoes the association. So for example, if we wanted to unassociate the task from the contact, we would use the unrelate function to do that. The update function is used to update records. So if you want to, after we've created the contact or created another record or the task, if we want to do some updates to it, we'll work with the update. And we'll look into create and update and some of the things to be aware of when modifying data as we get a little bit further in the course. And the other one that's here at the bottom, you've got a couple of additional ones, upload image file content, Upload image file content is the, goes along with the get image file and file content. They basically allow you to work with the file and image data types. So this one would allow you to specifically update the data for the file or image itself. And the final one is execute a chain set request. And we'll look at this in the create and update data section. What this allows you to do is combine multiple create, update, or delete actions into one set of items that are processed. And the benefit of that is normally each action in a flow is done independently. And if one fails, the other still has the action already completed. So if we put two creates and an update inside of an execute chain set request, they either all have to finish or none of them will finish. And it gives a lot of flexibility for making sure all the business data is handled in a consistent manner in a related set of operations. So that's a look at the different actions that the Common Data Service Current Environment Connector has. And I just wanted to go ahead and go back for a second and look at the other connector just to kind of show you how limited it is, the actions that you have on that. And that's why you want to make sure that you're, if you can work with the Common Data Service Connector in a solution, you want to make sure to use the other connector we were just looking at and not this one, because this only has create, get, list, update, and delete record. So that's a look at the different actions that are available. As we go through the course, we'll deep dive onto each of the different ones and some of the things to be aware of when using it, and we'll see you in the rest of the course.